Okay, what's up guys, I'm ODI94 and we're back with Attack on Titan Season 4, Episode 7, I think. Yeah, Episode 7, or Episode 66, depending on which order you go with. Yeah, so last week's episode, there were some things that I really loved. And then there were some things, that part where Eren, yeah, had the Warhammer Titan, yeah, he had, he had it in his hand. All that was left was just to eat it. But instead of him to just eat it, he he was like, and of course he got attacked because I mean you can't do this in the battlefield, come on. But yeah, apart from that, I loved everything about last week's episode. And you know the action is starting faster this time around compared to season three because season three first half was so political. The action was more like human versus human, but now we're seeing Titan action already. You know, we saw Mikasa, and she was not proud of Eren at all. What Eren? Had done the people he had killed so we're gonna see what sasha and connie and armin especially what they think of what he did because i mean i don't think i think from we've gotten the idea that they didn't know he was gonna do this in advance until he sent that letter that means that so they weren't aware of this so obviously we're gonna see like how the, how they feel but yeah so yeah without further ado let's watch I mean, this is really dangerous, considering that they didn't know what Eren was going to do, so... I mean, I hope they have a backup plan for this, or something. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I mean, they, they know who they were going to fight. Yeah, you know, you deserve that. You deserve that. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. The one and only, the man himself. See, how do you feel? Like, you have no hope against these guys without the help of the LDNs. And all the time you spend bashing the LDNs. So, so how do you feel? Oh. Of course. <laughs> he's never gonna die, is he? Like, I mean, he, he will die eventually, but he's not gonna die that easily. But he doesn't have a desire to live, does he? Ah, he'll be fine. <laughs> he'll be fine, he'll be fine. What kind of voice is that? <laughs> so you can just... Oh! I know if you, you could be that quick. And he's looking lean as well, like, I mean, he's got some lean muscle there, you know? I mean, see, that's what I'm thinking, that they obviously had some kind of plan, right? Yes, that's what I'm thinking. I mean, yeah, it's probably not a normal fishing boat, is it? Armin? Yeah. Oh no. Ha! So if you thought Eren was tough. It's been eight years. What do you think happened to him? I mean, did he? Was he not expecting him? I'm confused. Yeah, Levi. Levi is like really not a big. Yeah, not you're not a problem for Levi at all.
Mm -hmm. There you go. Ooh, that's a shot. Wow. Okay. The thing is, I like Peak. So that's the problem, but... Uh, I've known them for longer, sorry. <laughs> Still alive. <laughs> wow. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, he's angry now. What's this? Oh. Hmm. So they have. Wow. Okay, a lot of things have happened in eight, eight years. Yeah, you didn't think that one through, did you? <laughs> Is he actually going to do it? Then so, but who who gets to eat it? Oh, he drinks her blood. So is that enough? Or is it blood and flesh? I love how I, I just I just quickly moved on from that. <laughs> like I mean, I was expecting like you know a proper thing, but no. I mean, it's been fairly. I mean, they've had a few. Okay, maybe Rhino can save the day. I mean, what can Rhino do really? I mean, these guys are better than Rhino actually. Unless he's gonna have some kind of new ability, maybe. <laughs> he's gonna save the day, isn't he? That. There's no way, even if he comes in, like, everybody's. Zeke is down, Peek is down, Galliard's down, Warhammer Titan's down. What can he possibly do against all of them? Colossal's gonna be there, Mikasa, Levi, come on. Yeah, you're doing, you're doing this again. again. No, no, again. You didn't know your lesson last time. Is that an advanced <laughs> armor titan? Oh. <laughs> wow. Is that that? So he's not planning on... Okay, well, he's just... So he's going to have, have a warrior's death, yeah? Some Valhalla... Thing going on, okay, okay. Well, okay, what's she gonna do on her own, actually? I mean, okay, so that episode was called Assault, but really it was more like Massacre because they got their asses absolutely handed to them <laughs> that 
No, with all the stuff about Mali and how like mysterious they've been all these years, I thought honestly they put a, a better fight than that. And they, I mean, they did try, but they did obviously they did do some good work. But and as soon as Armin came in, just just the fact that the Colossal Titan was there, like it's like the psychological. I think it was like a psychological thing. As soon as they they had him, they just started panicking because they had the they had the Paradis gang, whatever you call them, where they wanted them. I mean, they had him in the building; they were hiding, and then Armin comes in, and then they they kind of leave their positions, go in different places. They allows Levi to come in and sneak sneakily, get Zeke. You know, they get the Warhammer Titan. Like I mean, right now it's just Reiner and Gabby. And I don't know what else Gabby going to do. Like, she's a good shot, you know, she's smart, she's tenacious, but... I mean, these guys are experienced, and... She, she's not going to beat the Titan, is she? So obviously she's going up against the humans. But even the humans, there's Mikasa, I think Sasha's probably better than her. Connie, all of that. I mean, who, who can she possibly... But yeah, so obviously it's kind of like a repeat, or not really a repeat, uh, what, do, what do you call it? What's the word I'm looking for? It's like some kind of symbolic... Like power rebalance almost from episode one because episode one, like they, the Eldians, the Paradis gang, they were the ones in this position trying to fight but then not knowing what to do, just being destroyed. And the Colossal Titan, of course, came in and everyone got scared. So now it's like the other way around, obviously, because Armin was like thinking that's what Bertel, like when he saw the dead people, he was like, So this is what Bertel saw because obviously it's like. They're, they are now the ones who are doing the attacking. Who, So maybe Gabby's going to be like Eren. How Eren was and like the whole revenge thing. She wants to, she hates them. They're evil. Isn't that? But yeah. So it was the massacre of Mali. This was. And one thing, one of the things I found so interesting now is that you can see how much they were depending on the Eldians. The Malians. You can see how much they were depending on the Eldians. Yeah. But then, when it comes... Let's say they win this fight. They're just going to go back to pulling them in the ghetto somewhere. They're, just, they're not even going to care. They're just going to be like, oh, these aliens, they're devils, they're demons. But then you saw how much they protected them. Because they know without them, they're screwed. So, like, I, don't, I don't really... Like, I feel... Okay, I know it's a psychological thing. So, but the aliens in Mali definitely need to realize that. Like, you're relying on us. You're relying on people from... Like, one of us to be able to help you. Without us, you're nothing. Even their weapons are okay. I mean, their guns are nothing special. I and mean, You saw the fight in the beginning in episode one. Without the Titans, they probably would have lost. Maybe. I don't know. It was, it wasn't, they were looking like they were on the back foot. I mean, Gabby did that cool thing she did and all that. But without the Titans, what would they have done? See what I mean? So, this is like... I know there's always hypocrisy when it comes to these kind of racism or like ethnic, I don't know what to call it, ethnic tri tribalism, this kind of thing, but this is probably one of the worst examples of that hypocrisy. Because you need them. So stop with the whole devils, demons thing. Like, I mean, you've seen them as people. You obviously like have worked with these people. You know that these people are not devils, they're not demons. So how long can you keep that act up for? Now, now now, they've seen what the other guys are like. The Paradis, they've seen them attacking, and then they've seen their people risking their lives to save them. I'm sure now they're not going to think the demons, are they? I, so I hope not, anyway. So, Eren. Okay, so at least Eren was never going to be able to eat the Warhammer Titan on his own. So that whole thing about doing this was whatever. But when it came to eating Galia, he was still like, just eat, just eat him, just eat him. <laughs> I know this is like a weird thing for me to really focus on because there's so much else going on, but I don't know. So Reiner's coming now and then he's looking hench. This man's looking, man's looking buff. Yeah, he's looking like, there's like a different version of him. I haven't seen this version, but obviously it's like, he doesn't seem, he's not the same, doesn't have the same mission goals. So that's not what's powering him anymore. He... He wants a peaceful death. Like, he wants to go out as a warrior. 
So I don't know how much he's going to bring to fight. I don't know how much I can help him in this fight, but he's still heavily outnumbered. Like, heavily outnumbered. Because Mikasa and Levi alone would probably take him on easily. Then it's Aaron as well. Like, ah. And like I said, Aaron. Aaron was looking lean. He was looking like... Before, Aaron was quite big. Now he's like, I mean, he's, he's more like mobile. Like, yeah. <laughs> so there's, there's been a lot of changes to the Tyson forms these eight years. So, I mean, Armin was looking, like, bigger than Bertolt was. Bertolt was, like, a tall, skinny guy. Maybe Armin was a bit... Armin was quite small, but maybe he's... I don't know, but as the Colossal Tyson, he looks a bit bigger to me. So, I'm, I'm liking all these differences, these things I'm seeing. I mean, at this point, it's not just... This point, all the episodes have been good. But it's just... It keeps getting better. It keeps getting better. I keep thinking it can't be as good as the last one, but it keeps on. It keeps on. If, if this show ends on this kind of note, it's going to be top five anime ever. Honestly. Like, the way it's going, if it ends in that kind of similar quality tone, then yeah, easily. Easily. Okay, so if you like this video, click on the thumbs up. Leave comments for me, tell me what you liked about my reaction, about the episode, or what you didn't like about my reaction or the episode. And finally, if you want to see more content like this, then come click on that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you soon.